After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the entropy balance equation, learn how the entropy production is related to affinity of the reaction, learn how the fluxes and forces are transformed and about non-equilibrium stationary states briefly. Entropy balance equation. The basic equation for non-equilibrium thermodynamics is entropy balance equation. This balance equation for entropy can be derived using the concept of conservation of energy and the balance equation for the concentration. This equation depict the relationship between three thermodynamic quantities. They are the entropy change, the entropy production and the entropy flow. The change in entropy is the time derivative of the entropy of the system and it is the sum of two integrals, entropy production and entropy flow for a given system. And the expression is given by ds internal by dt denotes the entropy production and is written by the integral of sigma into dv. This time derivative of entropy denotes the entropy produced within the system. The time derivative of external entropy denotes the entropy flow and the expression is given by integral of negative divergence of j into dv. It is the time derivative of that entropy which comes from or goes out to the environment across the boundary of the system. Thus, the final expression for in change in entropy is given by the integral sigma minus divergence of j into dv. For a reaction diffusion system, the entropy production comprises of two components, the entropy production of chemical reactions and diffusions respectively. The total entropy production can be written as the sum of sigma r dv and sigma dv. From the above expression, you can see that Kb denotes the Boltzmann constant R rho plus and R rho minus represents the rate of forward and backward reactions of the rhoeth chemical reaction. Dj and Cj represents the diffusion coefficient and the concentration of the jth component respectively. Transformation of journalized fluxes and forces. The rate of entropy production for an irreversible process is given by the summation of Ji into Xi which is greater than zero. For a single chemical reaction occurring at a given rate, the above expression can be written as the product of J and X. Sigma does not depend on the reaction sequence but depends on the linear combination of forces and flows. In the above equation, the flux J is identified with the rate R and journalized forces X is identified with the affinity. Consider a consecutive type of reaction in which A gives B and in the second reaction B gives C. For the reaction 1, the affinity is given by the difference of mu A minus mu B. Since Ra is equals to Rb, is equals to 1. Similarly, for reaction 2, the affinity is given by mu b minus mu c since rb is equals to rc which is equals to 1. The change in number of moles of A per unit time or rate of reaction is given by dNA by dt is equals to minus r1. Similarly, the change in number of moles of C per unit time is given by dnc by dt is equals to r2. Hence, the change in number of moles of B per unit time is given by r1 minus r2. We know that the rate of entropy production for reaction 1 and 2 is equals to A into r1 plus A into r2. Now, consider a different chemical reaction in which A gives C and B also gives C. The corresponding affinities of the reaction 1 prime and 2 prime are for 
a1 prime it is equals to a1 plus a2 and for a2 prime it is equals to a2. Therefore, the change in number of moles of C is equals to R1 prime plus R2 prime. By comparing equation 6, 7, 8 with equation 12, we find that R1 is equals to R1 prime and R2 is equals to R1 prime plus R2 prime. For this reaction, the rate of entropy production is finally given by equations which is the summation of a1 prime into r1 prime which is equals to summation a1 into r1. The above equation suggests that the newly generated set of equations for entropy production are also same. Thus, the transformation properties of the fluxes Ji and the generalized forces Xi are such that linear combination of forces and fluxes give a new set of fluxes ji prime and a new set of forces xi prime thus the equation holds good therefore we have summation ji xi is equals to summation ji prime into xi prime there are three types of transformations in linear irreversible thermodynamics now we will discuss about non-stationary states, non-equilibrium stationary states are the state variables which are independent of time. In this case, entropy production is different from zero and there is no transport of mass that is Jm is equals to zero. Whereas, equilibrium states are the states in which entropy production is zero. A stationary state arises when the concentration of the intermediate components does not vary with time. Considering a one component system in which there exists temperature gradient as well as the concentration gradient which are denoted by xth and xm respectively, near equilibrium entropy production per unit time can be written as the sum of jth xth plus jm xm which is greater than 0 and the linear phenomenological laws which we will discuss later are jth is equals to l1 xth plus l12 xm and jm is equals to l21 xth plus l22 xm where l11 and l22 are the coefficient of thermal conductivity and diffusion coefficient respectively. L12 is the coefficient of heat flow related to a concentration gradient. L21 is coefficient of mass flow associated with a temperature gradient. Stationary states may be characterized by extremum principle. This principle states that in the stationary states, the minimum amount of entropy is produced compatible with some auxiliary conditions to be specified in each case. Thus, an equation may be derived that specify conditions that entropy production has minimum value for a given value of xth. Thus, using equations and on Sager reciprocal relation which is L12 is equals to L21, the rate of entropy production becomes L11 xth square plus twice of L12 xth into xm plus L22 xm square. Taking the derivative of equation 19 with respect to xm keeping xth constant we get twice of L12 xth plus L22 xm which is equals to twice of jm. In the situation of steady state, when Jm is equals to 0, it means that the rate of entropy production has an extreme value in the steady state. This extreme is minimum which can be shown by taking the second derivative of equation 19. As in the steady state, we know that the differential of internal entropy with respect to Xm is equals to 0. 
we get finally twice of L22. Since L22 has a positive value, thus the second derivative is also positive so that the extremum is a minimum. This statement also furnishes the statement of Prigogine's principle of minimum entropy production. This principle states that at the steady state all the flows corresponding to unrestricted forces vanish. Thus, in journalize, this can be journalized to the case of n independent affinities out of which certain numbers are kept constant. For such stationary states, Jn is equals to 0. Such conditions are equivalent to minimum condition for entropy production, that is, differential of internal entropy with respect to xj is equals to 0. Prigogin stated that the time variation of rate of entropy production splits into two parts. First, due to the irreversible processes which are occurring inside the system and second, due to the flow of entropy from the system to the surroundings. Because of the irreversible processes occurring in the system, the rate of entropy production decreases until the state is reached when it becomes minimum. When the system is in non-equilibrium steady state, then a system cannot come out of this state despite being spontaneous irreversible state. But if some perturbations occur that disturbs the system from steady state, then there occur some internal changes which bring back the system to the steady state. Now let us summarize what we have learned. The rate of entropy production is given by the sum of change in internal entropy and change in external entropy. In terms of entropy production and entropy flow, the rate of entropy production is given by the integral of sigma minus divergence of j into dv, where the integral of sigma dv represents the entropy production and integral of divergence of j into dv represents the entropy flow. The transformation properties of the fluxes Ji and the journalized forces Xi are such that the linear combination of forces and fluxes give a new set of fluxes Ji prime and new set of forces Xi prime. A stationary state is a state which arises when the concentration of the intermediate components does not vary with time. And the extremum principle states that in the stationary state, the minimum amount of entropy is produced compatible with some auxiliary condition to be specified in each case.